So I've got this here roaching isograph 0 0.40 and I've got my sketchbook. You can see in the front of it, I don't know what happened, but maybe there was some uh, oil or something or I don't know what happened to it, but something must have got on it from my hands. This is the sketchbook that we're going to be doing our doodles in today. I will be using this here isograph, but I think I'll probably use a little bit of this 0 0.10. Now I haven't done any of these in quite some time. I think it's been four, five, or six months. And you can see in the corner over here to make it more colorful in here. But anyways, enough of the randomness. Let's go ahead and get this pen, see what we can doodle in here. I have no plans of what I want to make, really anything that's going from my mind of anything Thing that I have in particular to draw. Maybe maybe I can get something good for it, like a thumbnail or some close up. People can see where I'm like, like what what are the thumbnails people usually do with trying to focus on my face? Focus. Is it possible? I don't think it will. I'm gonna try one more time. What if I get my face very close to it? Does that work? Anyway, let's go ahead and get started on this doodle and uh, see what we can make. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. But uh yeah, let's start doodling. Today was one of those days where I woke up looked at the time and realized I've almost slept 12 hours again for the third day in a row this week. So I got up, went to my kitchen, was going to make some coffee, but I usually like to have breakfast or eat something before I have my coffee. So I looked over and all I seen on my countertop was some apple um some avocados and some potatoes and celery not much of anything for a breakfast really you know you when you think of breakfast you think like you know bacon eggs oatmeal uh or maybe grits pancakes waffles toast orange juice those are breakfast foods right well, I didn't have any breakfast foods. I looked in my fridge. All I had in my fridge was a quarter of a gallon of milk and this big, like, 10-pound package of chicken that I got on sale last week. And I was like, well, I need something to eat. I need something for breakfast. Just having coffee isn't going to do it for me. So I had to go to the store and get myself a little bit of food to have for breakfast. And I went and bought some bananas, some grape tomatoes, some sweet potatoes, some more milk, water, and uh, I didn't buy any actual breakfast stuff because where I went, everything was too expensive. I was gonna buy it somewhere else and I saw the price was double of where I could get it anywhere else. I'm just thinking, you know, I, I could just buy that tomorrow there. I'll just, I'll figure something out with grape tomatoes and uh, all these kind of random things that I got that was no cheaper price. And then I got home, made my coffee. And uh, once the coffee was done, I sat down and um, ate this random assortment of items and then put the chicken in this big crock pot thing that I had gotten um, over the holidays. And uh, that thing is very convenient. It's nice to have because I can just throw food in there and it just cooks over eight hours. I don't got to sit there like you do with your stove top and constantly wash the food and, you know, being worried, hey, if I go and decide to sleep for another six hours, you know, I don't have to worry about my food getting burnt and, uh, not being any good. So now I can just put food in the crock pot and um, this, it, it comes out so good. Right now I have chicken that's being uh, cooking and uh, it's going to be delicious. And I uh, added a little bit of like this pink Himalayan sea salt to it. And um, I, I was going to get this iodized salt, but I don't know why, but you would think it would be just salt, iodized, but they've got all this weird stuff added to it, and it's like, why are they adding this stuff that's like, almost like sugar into salt? What is going on? Um, I just want salt. But anyways, I got a couple of things for breakfast, um, started making some food, and then I sat down and started on this doodle, because I have not done a time-lapse drawing in quite a long time, 
and I haven't really done much with video editing in a while. Um, had to remember uh, a lot of things, had to reteach myself a lot of things um, that I just completely forgot about. And uh, so now here I am back to doing some time lapse doodles. And that's a little bit of how my day started. Um, nothing too excited. I mean, there's not a whole lot of exciting things that really happen in my day to day life other than the millions and millions of random thoughts that I have about completely random things. Um, just, yeah, I have all kinds of random ideas and doodles that just, I don't know where they come from, from the, I don't know. Anyways, I'll talk to you all later and you have a good day and see you later.